Greetings and salutations and welcome to another Inventor video. In today's video we're going to make a goblet which is a type of glass, a type of cup. Yes, this one I'm showing you that I made earlier is made of brass but doesn't really matter. It's a cup, same kind of thing. So let's get a new part up and we're going to start a new sketch. Grab sketch and we're going to cheat slightly because yes I don't actually have any dimensions. So instead we're going to grab this picture of a goblet which is way more convenient and let's just spin it around that's at zero let's flip it around to 270 and there we go and we're going to put it about there and we're just going to constrain it so it's not doing anything Okay. There we are, select the edges. There we go, click OK. Fully constrained, nothing can move. Perfect. Right, so we have our template. Do remember it's not straight on, it's a slight angle, so don't trace it exactly. So we're just going to start at the top with that. And from there, we're going to form our midline, which can then be converted to a center line because we're going to revolve it quickest way to really do it so we can now get rid of that because it will cause us issues later and uh, we're just going to make that center line bish bash bosh next job is we're going to make that oh I don't know let's make it 16 no we'll make it 50 there we go and we're then going to put that angled click OK now the first kind of dimension we're going to put in Really, it's going to be the end of here to here, and this is how thick the actual stem will be. And I'm going to make it 15. 15, pretty simple. Okay, next job. We're now then going to go back up to the top, and we're going to make that yeah, about that. Click OK. There we go. Now we get an arc, and to about. Now we'll tweak it. Bring it from about there to about there to about there, and we're gonna go and make a tangent. Yeah, I could manually constrain it, but meh. You can do it. You can do it manually, but it's gonna pop up. Why not? And there we go. Then out all tangentially constrained. Perfect. Now try and dimension up as much as we can. Now dimensioning is still saying I need to get better at, so for now, we're gonna try we're gonna do as much as we can. Already done there. And we're going to dimension there. Click OK. And we need to dimension there to there. Click OK and we need to dimension. There. And we then need to dimension each of these for the radi radius or radii. Bom. Bom. And we just need to dimension the top because that's pretty much most of them. In fairness, we probably can do some more, like probably one here. Oh, it's starting to go purple now. Excellent. That's already dimensioned. And, oh, here's the other green dot for the other arc. That's already dimensioned. Right. Got most of them. How many did we leave? Oh, one more dimension. Click apply. And surprise. There we are. It's all dimensioned. Click apply. Click done. Click finish. And there's our rough sketch of our goblet done. We now then just need to revolve it. Center line automatically detects it. And so it automatically revolves around there. And we're now then going to start the actual 3D modeling. Now, if you notice, there's really not a lot there to put actually in your drink. So we're going to start shelling. Go put a shell up there. And put a shell on the bottom so you get a nice arched bottom. 
And one mil's fine. Okay, second job. Is we now need to actually get rid of that hole in the bottom. Because you're not really going to be able to drink out of anything where you've got a hole in the bottom. We could do this just with a bit of patching. Patch here. Click apply. And we can make a patch. All the way here and we're going to use this one. There we go. And you can adjust it slightly if we go into tangent condition. We can change the weight to, I don't know, 0 0.6. Yeah, that looks nice. Click apply. And there you go. And then we can just fill in that whole middle section. Just those, just by using the sculpt command. Click OK. And there we go, we now have a solid goblet. And we're almost done, but last but not least, we've just got to put in a couple of fillets. Sneaky. Probe one there. And how do we make that? Let's see. That looks nice. And we're going to change, we have another one of a different radius. And let's make that five. That looks good. And there you go, click apply. Oh, uh, we actually missed out one fillet because we don't really want to cut our lips on the top. So we're going to go into fillet, but we're going to go into full round fillet, which you just select the side, top, and the inside. It perfectly rounds it all over. Click apply. And there we go. We've pretty much done except there's a couple last things we want to do so materials we got plenty of choices we could go for glass if I select glass but I don't as the last one we're going to replicate it we're going to go for brass there you go and that's pretty much it the last thing to really do is just to make our visual style realistic Turn on reflections and shadows. And there you go. A basic goblet. Obviously we can tweak it slightly. Yeah, we can probably make it a bit wider, which if you want to, you can just go into back into the sketch. And I'm just flipping around. Right, and so you can oh just tweak that and make that I don't know. Make that. Well, obviously, you can tweak it as needed, or you can make probably make it like. You obviously you can make a taller glass if you want a taller glass. You can make it wider. You just got to edit the right parameters. Click finish. There you go. One goblet. Now, if you notice, we we'll go back to my other one. I did put I did emboss CAD insight onto it, but. We can add that. We can do that in another video. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next see you in the next episode. Goodbye.